Marilyn Maxwell was a talented actress known for her roles in films during the mid-20th century. She starred in a variety of movies that showcased her acting skills. From her many performances, which film do you think was the most significant in her career? Additionally, if Marilyn Maxwell has ever inspired you or had an effect on your life, we'd love to hear about it. Your stories and memories are valuable to us, so please share your most treasured memory of this classic star in the comments. Stay tuned, as we have many interesting facts about Marilyn Maxwell's life to share, including some that are funny, shocking, and even sad. Your insights and experiences are what make remembering Marilyn Maxwell so special. Marilyn Maxwell was a prominent actress known for her roles in films during the mid-20th century. But she gained recognition for her talent and became a celebrated figure in the entertainment industry. Her performances were notable for their charm and ability to connect with the audience, making her a significant actress of her time. Maxwell's work in cinema left a lasting impression and her career is remembered for its contributions to the film industry. Her presence on screen was strong and she played a variety of roles that showcased her acting skills. Maxwell's significance lies in her ability to bring characters to life, making her a respected and noteworthy actress of her era. Marilyn Maxwell's personal life saw her walk down the aisle three times. Her first marriage was with John Kant, a fellow actor at MGM, in a quaint New York City church known as the Little Church Around the Corner. This union lasted for two years. She then married Anders McIntyre, a restaurateur, but their marriage was short-lived, ending after just one year. Her third and final marriage was to Jerry Davis, a writer and producer. Together, they had a son named Matthew, but eventually parted ways after six years. On the professional front, Marilyn Maxwell was known for her role as Brainy Baxter in the film The Lemon Drop Kid. Beyond the silver screen, she was also recognized for her support to the troops, joining Bob Hope on his USO tours during and following World War II. Her charm and talent extended to television, where she played opposite leading comedians of the time, including Bob Hope and Red Skelton, bringing her unique presence to the small screen. Marilyn Maxwell, often in the spotlight for her striking presence and acting talent, once humorously distinguished herself from Marilyn Monroe by saying she was the blonde who kept her clothes on. Her role as Brainy Baxter in The Lemon Drop Kid showcased her acting skills alongside Bob Hope, with whom she shared a well-known relationship. This relationship was so talked about that she was sometimes called Mistress Bob Hope in Hollywood circles. Beyond her professional life, she was a supportive friend to Rock Hudson, standing by him during a time when he had to hide his true self. Their public appearances together were frequent, and she playfully dismissed any romantic speculation, insisting they were just friends. Marilyn Maxwell brought the character Brainy Baxter to life in The Lemon Drop Kid. Her performance introduced Silver Bells, which became a beloved Christmas song. The film, shot in 1950, reached audiences in March 1951, but it was Bing Crosby's December 1950 recording that led to a more elaborate rendition in the movie. Bob Hope, who performed alongside Maxwell, later made the song a staple of his Christmas specials, often as a duet with prominent female guests. From a young age, Marilyn was skilled in dance, starting her training at just three years old. This early start helped shape her career in the performing arts. Tragedy struck in 1972 when her son Matthew discovered her lifeless in their home. She had suffered a heart attack, a consequence of high blood pressure and lung issues. During this difficult time, actor Rock Hudson supported Matthew, taking care of the funeral arrangements. Marilyn Maxwell's sudden departure was a loss to both her family and the entertainment world. Marilyn Maxwell joined Bob Hope in the film The Lemon Drop Kid, where they performed Silver Bells, a song that became widely known and loved. In Hollywood during the 1940s and 1950s, she was recognized for her striking appearance and lively screen presence. With her tall stature, blonde hair, and engaging singing voice, Marilyn took on a variety of light-hearted and entertaining roles in movies. Her acting style combined the down-to-earth charm of Joan Blondell with the allure of Mae West, making her a memorable figure in the entertainment industry of her time. Marilyn Maxwell brought a new Christmas carol to audiences with her performance of Silver Bells in The Lemon Drop Kid. Her talent extended beyond the screen as she became a mother to her son, Matt Davis, in 1956. 
Her strong presence in film was recognized in the book Killer Tomatoes' 15 Tough Film Dames, highlighting her significant role in the industry. Marilyn Maxwell lit up the stage during her USO tours with Bob Hope, captivating audiences with her performance of I Wanna Love You, all while donning a tight sweater that became a signature look. Her charm wasn't just limited to the tours. She was a hit in nightclubs too, especially at the Latin Quarter in New York, where her presence was a major draw. Before her silver screen days, Marilyn was a radio singer, but it was at MGM where she found her star identity. Louis B. Mayer, the studio head, saw potential in her and suggested a name change from Marvel to Marilyn, setting the stage for her to become the Marilyn Maxwell we remember today. Marilyn Maxwell faced tough times, and in 1967, she found herself performing as a stripper in a burlesque show in Queens, New York. Despite this challenging phase, she remained a beloved figure, especially known for her performances in Bob Hope's tours. These tours were famous for entertaining us troops and allied forces across various global military bases. Her presence brought joy and a sense of home to many service members far from their loved ones. Marilyn Maxwell, a star known for her roles in films during the 1940s and 1950s faced a tragic end. Despite her success on screen, her personal life was marked by struggles. She passed away at the age of 50 from a heart attack, alone in her home. This sudden and sad event ended the life of an actress who had once shined brightly in Hollywood's golden era. Her death was a stark contrast to the glamorous life she portrayed in the movies, highlighting the often unseen challenges faced by those in the entertainment industry. Maxwell's story serves as a reminder of the fleeting nature of fame and the human vulnerabilities that exist behind the silver screen.